does this operate on diesel fuel? Um, this particular yard, we do run off of diesel. Uh -huh. uh, we're scheduled to go CNG within the next couple of years. Uh, compressed natural gas. Uh -huh. But for right now, we're we run off of diesel because we're located next to uh, residential and commercial. We got and uh, we're too close. Uh, I hear a lot of horns today. Yeah, we've got our open house today. We have little kids get to go uh, to sit in the truck, operate the arm, and also it, educate them on the recycling program. And they love those horns. Oh, they love it. Every, every morning you'll see them out on the street when the trash truck goes by. They'll follow the truck, or even the parents will come out and bring them out and just to watch the trucks operate and pick up the containers. City workers roll out the trucks on a recent Saturday afternoon to foster information and education on the importance of recycling. Today we're having uh, the West LA open house. The yard is open to the public uh, to give an opportunity for uh, the city drivers who are volunteering their time today to meet with local residents, to show them the operations of all the different trucks, to give them a chance uh, to uh, work some of the equipment and then to learn about all the different city services that are provided by the Bureau of Sanitation. Well, it kind of looks like a lot of people want to know uh, what it's like. They're here uh, riding around in trucks and uh, talking to people and trying to get information about recycling. Uh, I guess initially I should uh, ask you how important is it to recycle? Uh, recycling is very important. Um, if you just think about it in terms of uh, just the amount of waste that can be recovered, that can be recycled, um, you can begin to understand uh, why it's so important. Uh, just thinking about the cost associated with landfilling trash versus pulling material that is recyclable, renewable, or can be reused. Uh, saves the cost on landfilling material and also gives the opportunity for the things that may have been thrown away and never used again a chance to uh, be renewed and reused. Well I know that uh, I recycle uh, uh, where I am and a lot of people uh, get confused about uh, what to recycle and what not to recycle and we kind of need a little clarification on that. Uh, in the city of Los Angeles, folks can use the blue uh, recycling bin to recycle paper, uh, cardboard, plastics, numbers one through seven, uh, polystyrene or styrofoam, glass, metals, uh, and now cartons. See, I was confused. Somebody said you can't recycle plastic, and somebody said you could, but uh, here it is from the horse's mouth. Um, that may be true, I mean city by city or different municipalities uh -huh. uh, may have different rules in terms of what can and cannot be recycled. Here in the city of Los Angeles there's a commitment to recycle as much material as possible. Currently the city has uh, a 65 percent recycling rate or diversion rate, uh, which means that uh, 65 percent of the material that uh, could have gone to landfill uh, is now being recycled to be renewed. During the afternoon open house, youngsters relish the opportunity to not only get close to these vehicles, but to actually work the controls. And though few kids may dream of being a trash collector when they grow up, there's no denying the thrill they experience from being at the wheel of these powerful recycling trucks. Tell me about that arm and what it does. As it comes down, uh, picks up the containers. Um, there is a limit, there's a 150 pound weight limit on it. And they'll take it up, dump it, and uh, put it back down. Is that uh, hydraulic or, or, you know, how can it do all that? Basically, it's, uh, it's hydraulics, uh, air, and electrical. Uh, is there a lever around here that makes that go up and down? And how does that work? Basically, it's uh, right here. We got three buttons. Oh, uh -huh. One's for the arm to go in and out. The other one's for the cart to go up and down and uh, to open and close. 
And so it dumps all the recycled material up upstairs there somewhere, right? Yeah, it's called the hopper. Uh, now these controls are on the door. I guess this is uh, because uh, you have one driver doing all of this. Is that right? Yes, we have one driver. You got two controls. You got one on the door okay. and one on the on the panel. I can't help but notice that the uh, steering wheel is on the right. Yeah, the majority are all right-hand driven trucks. How about the size of the truck? I mean, uh, manipulating through uh, and maneuvering through streets uh, in the Hollywood Hills, for example, uh, could be a problem for a big truck, couldn't it? Yes, but fortunately we have uh, four different types of vehicles. We have a regular automated vehicle, then we have uh, a smaller version of this one, which is a semi-auto. Then you have your two-man trucks that go into smaller, tighter areas, and the last one's a satellite truck, which is uh, goes into the ones where none of the other trucks fit. Uh, do you get to meet some interesting people oh, on your yeah. ventures? Yeah, you get to meet people, but you know, don't like to yeah. bug them too much. Yeah, let them come out and bug you, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, prior to 2000, uh, the city collection trucks were uh, two-man vehicles. They were there was manual collection in the city meaning that there was a driver and then there was somebody in the back who had to lift the trash cans into the uh, bin and, uh, for collection. Uh, in 2000, the city rolled out an automated program where uh, the two-man trucks were converted to one-man uh, trucks, so one-person trucks, and uh, with an automated uh, collection arm. So um, that change uh, basically was the start or the uh, led to the open house program being launched uh, to give an opportunity for the drivers to um, meet the residents that are on the routes because in the in the past with the two-man trucks you had folks that actually uh, got to know the drivers and there was a relationship there and you know if there was an issue or problem those problems and issues were solved at that at that level with the drivers with the automated collection trucks the drivers don't have to get out of the trucks anymore. There was a, there was a disconnect or uh, that began to form uh, between the drivers and the residents that they were serving. So the open house program really started out as an opportunity for the drivers to reconnect with the community, to re-engage and teach folks about the importance of recycling and to, uh, again, foster a, a stronger relationship so that folks know about the city services. The open house events not only encourage youngsters on the importance of recycling, they also help to foster respect and admiration for the unsung heroes whose job it is to keep the city's streets and alleys clean. The kids are having fun today, what are they doing? The kids uh, really actually enjoy coming out to the open house, I mean over the last nine years uh, the popularity of the open houses has really grown. Kids, we learned early on in the open house process that kids and their parents would actually sit on the front lawns of their homes on collection day waiting for the trucks to come by and see what happened. See the arm come off the truck, grab the bin, lift the bin into the hopper of the truck, and they wait for the trucks all day long. And so the open house program, and as you can see, they get to come here and actually get to sit in the truck work the automated arms and uh, get a real chance to see actually how uh, what it takes to be a, a collection driver in the city. They can live the dream. They live the dream, you know, the kids really love it. Uh, the kids from, you know, as young as uh, two all the way up to maybe uh, 10, 11, 12 years old. 40. And 40, because we've got those too. They love to come out here. Kids of all ages love to come out here and uh, sit in the trucks work the arms. On the trucks, they get a, we have a satellite trucks that are available for uh, the kids to sit in and to take a ride around the yard uh, so that they can actually see what it's like to be uh, in, a, in a truck uh, in operation. We have mascots out here also uh, promoting different programs uh, on recycling and collection. We have information booths here as well. And, uh, that allow the kids to see the recycled material that's collected from the green bins, uh, to get information about what is and is not recyclable, and what uh, to do or not to do best practices in terms of not putting clothes. Because sometimes people make mistakes with the blue bins. They put clothes in there, uh, food, liquids, dirt sometimes in the blue bin, and that's not acceptable. 
Uh, so folks who have questions about that can come here and learn about it. The kids actually, when they embrace the, the idea of recycling, they're at home and they're teaching their parents what they need to do or not do. And it's been a, it's been a great opportunity for everybody, uh, not only for the drivers who come out here to volunteer their time, to get to meet the residents that they serve and help those folks out, but to give everybody a really good time. And, you know, we almost have a Disneyland-like uh, environment where the kids can come, parents can come. It's a really uh, great family uh, event.